Hey you guys, I'm Dr. Ben Wise from the Kelowna Skin Cancer Clinic and you're probably booked either for photodynamic therapy or you're considering photodynamic therapy. And what I would like today is just to discuss precancers or actinic keratosis. Now actinic keratosis is photo damage or DNA damage from UV light that causes damage to your DNA on your skin. And this is typically damage that happened years ago when you were younger, especially when you were a teenager or in your early 20s. And the problem these days with longevity is now living so much longer, unfortunately, our immune system is struggling to keep up and manage these precancer cells that we have. Now, as I've said, the other name for a precancer is called actinic keratosis. And these are the three big categories of skin cancers, basal cell cancer, squamous cell cancer, and melanoma. Now, squamous cell cancer is the only skin cancer that's got a pre-cancer phase called actinic keratosis. Most, if not all, squamous cell cancers form from an actinic keratosis, but not all actinic keratosis will change into squamous cell. You will see here that on uh, the skincancer.org, this is uh, an American organization, they quote to say 10% or more may turn into squamous cell of your actinic keratosis. But that is typically more for the general public. The patients that we see typically have way more skin damage and unfortunately, that number typically is way higher, easily 40 or 50 percent, where your precancer or actinic keratosis will change into a squamous cell cancer. Now, I always say a precancer or actinic keratosis is not curable. We can only manage it with some medications. Of course, the most important way in managing your precancers is making sure that you stay out of the sun, specifically protect your skin against daylight, making use of an SPF of a minimum 50 SPF, UV protective clothing, sunglasses, and hats. But sometimes even if you do that, it's still not enough to manage these precancers. Now, precancers, I use the analogy to say that it's like dental plaque. It is not something that we can cure. We can only manage it. And it's like going to the dentist where they do a dental clean. And then, you know, nine or 12 months later, you need to go back. And then they need to clean your teeth again. And it's exactly the same with these actinic keratosis. As I say, there's some medications that we can use that will manage these precancers. But we know that they will come back because of that DNA damage that happened years ago when you were younger. So the equivalent, if you go to the dentist, they would say, well, if you brush your teeth and you floss your teeth, you don't have to get these regular dental cleans. It's exactly the same with skin cancer. With skin cancer, if you use sunscreen, if you use UV protective clothing, the good news is that the chance that your precancers will redevelop faster is way lower. So really important, that primary prevention. From a treatment point of view, you've got two treatment options. The first is Ephidex, which is a topical chemotherapy medication. And the other option is photodynamic therapy. I always say there's not much difference in the efficacy of these two treatments. They both work and they both work really well, but the experience is just different in you know, what you're gonna go through. The 5-FU or Ephidex, that's a topical chemotherapy. You can only treat 25 square centimeters at a time. So it's a limited area that we treat at a time. And the side effects is quite robust. You typically have quite a bit of bleeding, swelling and discomfort, and it's a very long treatment, typically twice a day for a month. And it usually will take patients way longer than a month just because of the side effects that they first need to stop, wait for the side effects to go away, and then restart the treatment again. The other option is photodynamic therapy. Photodynamic therapy is either Medfix or Levilan. And these medications are not chemotherapy, they're photosensitizers. And these abnormal cancer cells or precancer cells will absorb this medication and then we activate the medication with a light source, typically either red light or blue light. Now, luckily, because it's not a chemotherapy medication, the side effects is way, way less and it's way easier to tolerate this treatment. It's also a faster treatment because you come into our office and this is where the nurses would do the treatment for you. And also the side effects are way less. But I always say it is not better compared to Ephidex. It's 
uh, where it says just a faster treatment with less side effects, but not better. If we think about using photodynamic therapy, we also might have spoken about priming the skin because a precancer is like a turtle. It hides under scale and the better we can descale that crust, the better penetration we get of the medication. And this is where we use a newer medication um, called Dovonex, that is topical vitamin D. It is a medication that's typically used for patients with psoriasis. We use it off-label as a priming agent to descale the skin, but also to activate your immune system so that when we do this topical treatment, your own immune system will also help us to actually manage and kill these precancer cells. We also might have given you a prescription for a high dose of oral vitamin D, and that is 10,000 international units every day for five days prior to your treatment. So what will happen is the nurses will be your care coordinator and they will help you with planning these treatments and deciding when to start with priming your skin, if we have to prime the skin. And also when you come in, they will then help you with these treatments. And we will have another video uh, where we will discuss the treatment of your actinic keratosis. Thanks for listening.